Hey guys, it's George Diamond Yard Sports Cards coming at you with another video. I'm pretty excited today about some pickups that I got recently. Um, shout out, by the way, to uh, Double D Sports Cards. Got my shirt on from Hawaii. My wife took a trip to Hawaii. Uh, got a great deal going and she ended up taking a trip there and had an awesome time. But anyway, guys, shout out to Double D and... Um, also wanted to give a shout out to my buddy Eric, uh, Grimy Mid Sports Cards. He's going to be having a Jackie Robinson and Hank Aaron uh, video soon. And it's going to be an awesome, awesome uh, Hank Aaron and a, even a more awesome Jackie Robinson. So uh, that's a recent pickup video. So I today I'm going to do a pickup video of my own pickups over the last uh, you know month or two. Uh, some, of the guy, some of the stuff I got at shows and it ranges from some modern signature cards all the way to 81 and then some 76s quite a few 76s for your 76 fans out there don don's field of dreams cards and then um all the way back to 1958 with an autograph card so we got three autograph cards here i've got some hostess um i got some psa graded cards and these guys are hall of famers so i uh, hope you enjoyed this here we go let's get the camera adjusted for these uh, pickups. Uh, I do not collect too much MMA, but certainly watch MMA and enjoy it. Oh, by the way, here, this is interesting. National's coming up. When I was a kid, I always wanted to go to the National, never been to a National. And this is fifth annual National Sports Card Collectors Convention, Bobby Thompson um, envelope cachet. Uh, and it's from August 12th of 1984. I think at that time I was heavy into collecting my Don Mattingly's and my Daryl Strawberries at that point. Uh, but anyway, I thought that was really cool. I'll just put that in the background here uh, to remind us of the National coming up, which is going to be awesome. And of course, with the Babe Ruth stamp on there. So first pickup was from... Uh, lots of young guys are coming up wanting to sell stuff at shows. And I say, hey, what do you have? I'm always interested in looking and getting, uh, maybe picking up something here and there. And this was a uh, George St. Pierre striking signatures 2020 tops UFC. And it's numbered to uh, 400 and what is it? 468, I believe. But a beautiful signature of the guy who many consider to be the goat of MMA. George St. Pierre. So I thought that was a good pickup. Uh, I was happy to happy to get it. Next card, another autograph card. Same kid came by. You, you want to buy these? He had a Reggie Jackson too, my buddy Eric purchased. And it was a Magic Johnson. Uh, one, uh, one of five uh, pro set. I guess this is, it is Leaf. Five of five. Uh, this would be 2021 Leaf Magic. And so... We'll put magic back here. Happy to get the magic auto. These didn't cost much at all, actually. Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson should get more love. I mean, I understand he may not be uh, the most likable guy, but he was in The Naked Gun. Um, and he's going to be at the National. Reggie's a big part of our childhood if you were one of the guys who has been out there and, and collecting cards in the 70s and the 80s. I almost dumped that one. But this Reggie right here is a nice 81 Donruss Reggie. Pick this one up. Always looking for 10s of anything late 70s, early 80s. I love Donruss uh, from that time, and it's maybe it's because I they had them at the local 7-Eleven. I pulled a Tim Raines when I was real young. Um, so these cards, some people believe they don't have a lot of imagination. I think they're great. And you get, with Reggie, you get, you know, multiple Reggies. There's three different Reggies in this set. There's multiple Yazes. There's multiple Carews. There's multiple Bretts. So as a kid, you know, you were able to have a, get a good chance of, of getting a card that of one of your favorite players, an all-time Hall of Famer. And speaking of that, here's the second Reggie. I have the third one. But this one reminds me of the 52 Tops Mantle. And you'll see what I'm talking about here. They were trying to do something with it. To try to make it like look a little bit like the 52 Tops Mantle, I believe. And this is a blazer. I mean, that baby blue border is awesome. And Reggie, just being Reggie, um, you know, just love these cards. Love these 81 Donruss cards. And perhaps I'm in the minority, but I just think that they have a lot of um, history behind them. And you got two Reggies here, and then there's a third one. Um, anyway, so going back to 76, let's do some Hostess. 
uh, there was a lot of four of these panels. This was the first one. This was a 76 tops pan or 76 hostess panel. Dave May, Yaz, and Caesar Geronimo. This one's kind of strange, and maybe you guys could help me out here. The back is like this. So I don't know if this is an error back. I mean, you can see we've got Caesar Geronimo stats there. And we've got Yaz's stats, but they're overlaid on a ding dong or a big wheel. Um, so I don't remember them being like this. I remember them being the way I'm going to show you of these other hostess ones. But nothing better than getting a big wheel, Twinkie. And there's Yaz. The second one, really love this one. George Brett, Al Oliver, Ted Simmons. Shout out to John Mangini, Al Oliver, fantastic ball player. Ted Simmons, great catcher, newly minted Hall of Famer. And that George Brett, I mean, these are this is these are really clean. I mean, I, you know, I'm not into like cutting these out, but I think if you cut them out appropriately, you'd probably be looking at maybe a PSA 10. But this is the back, and you can see right there. I mean, look at Al Oliver's stats. 292 lifetime average, 280, 321, 292, 312, 282. A doubles machine, you can see right there, 39, 38, 38. Ted Simmons, 298 career hitter at this point. These are 76s. And George Brett had just started you know, seeing what his talent would be, uh, 308 batting average. So really like this, especially really enjoy the Brett. Move this over a little bit so we can see better. So I'm going to put that one uh, in the background here. So uh, two of these. These are awesome. This was the reason I bought these. A pair of Henry Aarons and Buddy Bells. Don't forget Buddy Bell and Steve Braun. You know, Mike, baseball collector, was a Buddy Bell, Buddy Bell fan growing up. But these are just crispy, just great looking panels. And again, these were not breaking the bank. I think they were somewhere around 20 bucks a panel. Uh, for Hank Aaron and, and Carl Yastrzemski, and of course, George Brett, you can't beat it, and Buddy Bell for that matter. Um, so again, the back here, David Gus Bell, second generation ball player there. And of course, Henry Aaron, look at those numbers, 307 lifetime average at that point, uh, 2,262 RBIs. And my favorite stat about Hank Aaron, and many of you guys know this, take away the 755 home runs, and he still had 3,000 hits. So those were really cool. Um, really enjoyed those. And so I kept along the George Brett train. Another young man came up to me and wanted to sell me some of these 76s. And I said, sure. Oh, this one I actually had bought online. But this one, he, he had a 69 Seaver, which you're going to see later. And he had this George Brett. And this beautiful, beautiful um, 76 Brett. Everybody knows how tough this card is. This one had pretty good centering. And it's really orange. Uh, and the colors popped on it a lot. And I had a six this card. I sold it. I'd like to get an eight, but those are pretty pretty pricey. And I figured a seven would be a good good thing to do. Now you can see it's diamond cut. They're often diamond cut, and that's just a common thing with this issue. But uh, and I don't believe there's any PSA tens of this Brett. But a real big, real big fan of this of this George Brett card. So I was happy to add that one. And the other seventy six card that I added was a Tom Terrific, uh, and it was a nice high grade one. I've been looking for one like this for a while and I wanted to add this one. So it's a PSA 9, Tom Seaver. You know, they get a lot of blur on his face sometimes, and even the 9s aren't centered maybe as they should be, but I was real happy to add this one. Um, there we go, that's better. So Tom Terrific there, um, probably the best pitcher, or one of the best pitchers of the 70s for sure. Uh, picked up a raw card from my LCS off the bid board. This beautiful Oscar Roberts, and I'm trying to, it's just so bold, and the, the background's dark. There's no, like, scratches or anything like that. But this 74 Oscar Robertson um, on the box. And, you know, I'd submit this if it was there was some, you know, lesser grading fees. But, I mean, this is going to be like a 7. And that's a beautiful, beautiful card, a uh, beautiful grade, nice grade. But, I mean, I just it's just a fantastic card. So anytime I have a chance to pick up a Basketball Hall of Famer, especially from the 70s, like the Big O, I will pull the trigger. Heading towards the home stretch, guys. Uh, this was a nice, beautiful, beautiful card. I couldn't believe this back. Look at that back. This kid, he had the same kid had the 76 Brett and this one. And we were talking. He's like, you want to buy these? I just picked them up as part of a... A swap with another guy and he threw these in i'm like well if he's throwing these in you know maybe you can cut me a deal on them and 
and he did. And I was just like, man, this is such a nice card. The centering isn't exactly like I'd like it, but um, the color on this thing is just fantastic as well. I was just shocked at the registration on the Seaver and the color. Uh, you know, and, and I didn't have a 69, so I figured I'd add it. Uh, can't go wrong with a 7. Um, but man, that back, I'm just like, you've got to be kidding me. The salmon back, like the 64s, these 69s are just beautiful. So that's Seavers right there. We'll put him there. Last card, I was picked up last Sunday night on auction. I couldn't believe this card. Uh, first tops card of Stan Musial. Well, you can clearly see it's not in very good condition. It's, it, you know, it's like a VG copy. Love this set because it shows all the the batting averages and the stats versus the other teams in the league at the time. And so you can see that and how Stan just killed. He was second in the MVP voting, I believe, in 57. Uh, but anyway, so the reason I bought it was it's a Stan Musial autograph on a playing days card. And this is just a crispy autograph. Um, you know, I'm not an expert on grading autographs, but I was just super happy to add this Stan uh, on a playing days, a playing days card of Stan Musial. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope everybody's having a great day and keep collecting.